BBC Radio London Breakfast. First for London, first for Londoners. Weekday mornings from 7. BBC Radio London. Good morning, it's Nikki Beatty on BBC Radio London. Supporters of a library faced with relocation have voiced their anger after discovering there are no plans to hold a full public consultation. An in-principle decision to sell the site in Highgate has already been approved. Members of two library campaign groups, the Friends of Highgate Library and Highgate Library Action Group, accused Cabinet members of failing in their legal duty and being in breach of ethical standards. However, Harringay Council say the move could help improve Highgate's library and culture facilities, make the library and its community activities fully accessible for all visitors and drive up visitor numbers with more people making use of both an improved library and the great range of facilities and activities on offer at Jackson's Lane. They also add, we're clear that a relocation will only go ahead if we're confident that it will mean an improved library for local residents. Well, Clive Carter is the Liberal Democrat councillor for Highgate and their spokesperson for libraries at Harringay Council. Good morning to you, Clive. Good morning, Nikki. So how far into this process are you? Just, just tell us what's going on. Well, I think, I think the, uh, the first thing to recognise is that this isn't about Jackson's Lane. This is about the sale of um, Highgate Library site. Um, uh, the council has wanted to uh, sell uh, the site since uh, 1999. In fact, they wanted to, at that point, they wanted to sell all the branch libraries and just concentrate on two or three super libraries. So there is form here. Uh, Stroud Green Library, which is just up the road from me, was... was was also uh, that in Highgate were the first two libraries, branch libraries they wanted to sell. Now the, the commitment of the council has waxed and waned to the library service, but um, uh, this is this is a really shabby underhand way of of getting their hands on that capital receipt. Uh, it is being cast as uh, improvements. It's being cast uh, by the council's public relations as improvements to. Jackson's Lane. I think it would compromise both functions. Uh, what needs to happen? Uh, well, this, this charade needs to stop right now. Um, the, um, uh, the, the council needs to give the freehold to, to uh, Jackson's Lane, and they can afford to be generous because their capital account is awash with uh, money uh, to illustrate. Uh, they, um, they've earmarked £33 million for a new headquarters for themselves. That, um, uh, that probably uh, what may come as a surprise to uh, uh, some people. Um, Jackson's Lane is a wonderful institution that does a great deal of public good, and, and I, I just deeply regret, as do members of the public, that um, the council has... Managed to. We, we, should, should we just institutions one, one second? Themselves? One second, hmm. um, Clive. Yeah. We 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 can't assume uh, that everybody listening will know what Jackson's Lane is. It's an arts it, centre, and, and it's a beautiful, yeah. beautiful. It's a multi arts venue. Yes. It's in high grade. It's in a Grade Two listed former uh, church, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. So so right now it it houses the library. What? No, 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 there's no library there. Right, at the so moment. what's there at the moment? There is an art centre, a bustling uh, um, art centre that, uh, that does a great deal of, of outreach work in the community. I've got nothing against it, and neither has the community, but what is resented by the public here is the, the council's uh, property driven approach to this, and indeed the HDV, which you probably know about. Everything is seen through the prism of land and buildings and monetizing but but so so i mean your library has to relocate or it doesn't it doesn't have to relocate the real object of the council here was to get on the books uh, an imprint as you know as you in your introduction um, an in principle decision uh, to dispose key decision mark you to dispose of the Highgate Library site. I, I, I invite you to... Go and, and what's have a going to happen to that building. site? What's going to happen to that site? Well, um, if it was... Um, if, it, if, it, if it didn't uh, achieve uh, national um, uh, listing status, if 
uh, it was sold, it would probably be demolished. And it is adjacent to a huge uh, site allocation. Now, many of your listeners won't know what that means, but the council's um, planning department has earmarked a huge swathe uh, of uh, land alongside Archway Road, uh, basically on top of the Highgate tube station, uh, for future development. Um, this is a worry, and the Highgate Library site is, is right alongside it. So it would be demolished. Uh, it is a beautiful building. Right. Today is a lovely day, and a lovely day to enjoy a book in the garden, in the garden at the rear of Highgate Library in Shepherd's, uh, in, in Shepherd's uh, Hill. Yes. I mean, the other thing, Clive, is that libraries have seen a drop in people using them. So councils have to keep thinking about how they can be run, how they can be made more attractive to the residents. So, I mean, putting the library at Jackson's Lane, where it's already an art centre, where there's already footfall, wouldn't that be better for the books? Uh, no, we already have a beautiful library. Um, the the council is, is, is almost happy to quote declining attendance figures. What they really need to be doing is not not quoting these uh, claimed figures of reduced attendance with, uh, with almost glee, they need to be thinking, how can we improve the library to encourage people to come there? Um, there, is a, there is an upper floor to uh, Highgate Library, which is very little used. That, that they need to find uses for that. They could, they could actually Maybe they can house people who need homes. That's what people will be shouting at the radio, Clive. Uh, I think we also <laughs> need libraries. And I think the mood of the public is also to retain libraries. We can't just keep on closing libraries. Well, in uh, this sense, though, mm. it's, they're not saying that they're going to close it. They're saying they want to move it. And uh, uh, Can this decision be reversed, by the way, or is this a, a, a well, fight in here? Well, we have now on the books the, this in-principle deci uh, key decision to uh, dispose of the library site, which was, I think, the object all along. Uh, I think that uh, this is this is a, this is a wicked decision. Um, I think you need to distinguish between libraries de and dedicated buildings versus library services. Now they they attempted something similar with Muswell Hill Library, which uh, listen, some listeners may know of. Uh, they they held in that in respect of that they held a full public consultation because they wanted to sell that site and they wanted to move it to uh, least room at the bottom of an apartment block at the edge of Muswell Hill uh, Commercial District. Uh, and I'm afraid that um, they didn't like the answer they got from the public. So th that's the reason, I think, why they don't want to hold a public consultation in respect of, of uh, this uh, co-location exercise. The charade needs to stop. Thank you very much for talking to us this morning, Clive. And I'm going to ask our listeners, anybody who uses Highgate Library, um, whether you would be upset if it moved to the site, which is already an art centre, um, and whether, in fact, you think that a library still has a place in modern-day 2017 London, whether you care what houses it. So Jackson's Lane is also is it a beautiful Grade 2 listed building. It's an art centre. They are suggesting it relocates there. Right now, it is a, a really beautiful building and it's got a sort of... It's got a little tower and a Tudor frontage and, and I didn't know it had a garden at the back where you could read. That's gorgeous. I had no idea. How do you feel about this? If you are local, if you've just got an opinion about libraries, share it with us this morning. 0207 224 2000. My thanks to Clive Carter. The time is 7.45 and Emma Jones has your BBC Radio London travel news.